Hello again. Look at these two, two beautiful cherubs here. All right, where to start on? Well, we can start with the little one here. Hmm? That's a beautiful little child there. So let's let's get a the first impression of, of the drawing of the of the gesture. You have the body coming this way, moving that way. Foot. Uh, his thigh and sh and shin, and that is coming towards us. That's the most difficult. How to deal with this? Okay, so body, body structure. I should I should be a little bit more towards the right here. So yeah, right here, right there. That's the the belly, the roundness of his belly. Then you have the thigh. Um, knee calf, shin, his calf, and as I said, that's the most difficult part. How to bring that foot to, as it is coming towards us? Kind of a squarish down here. It's not really square, but then um, it's like a triangular shape coming towards us from the thumb little toes and then a triangular shape and then that angle here which is basically his uh, um, shin again uh, thigh here body needs to go a bit wider there 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 yes belly talking about this one head moving down half of the head is in shadow uh, squint your eyes and you'll see that shadow here. Talk about that line here where it connects with that shadow here. So there is a continuous shadow all here. Um, his elbow, hand going towards his face, delicate fingers, delicate gesture, and the thigh, sorry, the um, shoulder is right under his eyes. So the shoulder is right here. Right under his eyes. Um, he's, he's a cherub, he's just chubby, chubby, chubby little boy. Girl, possibly, who knows? A um, little bit of Thigh, uh, sorry, cylinder here, and you got the hmm, the hip, and all that is in shadow. So squint your eyes, and you will see that beautiful shadow coming all around on the left here. There, and a bit of darker. A bit of shadow coming from the thigh towards us, and that's where we get the the calf here, roundness of his thigh, uh, knee cup, a bit of folds here, folds on his thigh here. and shadow there. Okay, and then you have that. If I darken that area here, that brings the the elbow towards us. And um, you have the hair coming here, hair curls, curls here. And then his wings. Now, one thing that I've confused is that I've done a shoulder without even looking. That's not the shoulder, it's basically his hand up there. Yeah, there's no shoulder basically, because it's been hidden by the hand. And a little bit of Roundness of his 
of his chin, nose, just a tiny bit of nose, wings as we said, as a general shadow here. And the, these beautiful little hands, they're at the same level as the thigh, so hands are here. And then you have a little pinky moving up delicately and then folds here. Shadow the folds. Folds here as well and a general shadow underneath here. All of that, now you have the folds around here, then the platform where the sculpting is basically uh, yeah, the platform basis. And a little bit of, that suggests that line here is important because that brings the foot towards us. Then you have a bit of shadow here, cast shadow of the thigh down on that negative shape here, negative space. The thigh is quite rounded here, so actually I could use some of that dust. If you see that I my fingers will go and darken it, it's because I'm taking the dust from here. And then you have a little bit of roundness of his chubby belly. Use some a kind of brush, take the dust from from here, hmm? scoop it, and then just spread it over there. Under the face, there, on his body, and here. Half of his chubby upper arm, hand itself, bigger head. Children normally normally have big heads, so a lot bigger than that. Yes, curls, wings, as we said. Hmm? Uh, and you have breast, hip, and that roundness, there, 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 the chubbiness of his lower arm, and hand here. The thighs. I think the thigh needs to go a bit further up. Now, the measurements that I normally do, I'll show you up here. What to measure? What to measure from? It's actually that thigh is higher than that. Stands a bit higher. So from the from where the thigh meets the belly to the to the the um, heel. Let's go up and you will see where it goes. It goes straight to his so that distance from thigh to the heel that goes right up to his hairline. So thigh to heel should go up to the hairline there. So it should be there. That's the hairline. That's how you get the measurements if they're correct or not. Or how you basically doing so far with the measurements if because that will give us other issues if we don't look after those then proportion will not be it will not be in proportion and um, we'll not be very happy with the drawing thigh darker darker belly 
belly. That darkness of the belly there. Then you have that thigh coming across like this. Oh, that thigh here, round it, round it. Um, the calf towards us. Um, there. Roundness of his chubby arm. Bit of a portrait. And putty, putty rather. Bit of putty rubber, just to work on the. Well, before I go with the putty rubber, first of all, I can get a little bit of a nose here. The angle of the nose, basically. Upper eyelids. Upper lip. Lower. Lower lip and that roundness of his cheek. Then the hairline up here. Round, round it. Which suggests the around the curls. Broke it. Okay, it's too too long. It was too long. Charcoal bow. Okay, bit of roundness, bit of curls around here. And his fingers are right close to the curls. Wings. Sharpiness of his upper arm, round it, and the belly. We need to stop and get a line here on the belly because it's a bit undecisive there. So there, that's where the belly would go. Well, some folds. So I'm jumping from the hand to the folds now. Sorry, let's go back to the face. Wing. Maybe a bit right there. Um, the roundness of the cylinder. It's like a cylinder, the, the upper, his bicep. Yeah, round it. And then little tiny pinky. There. Darker here. Um, nipple, roundness of his thigh here, folds, the thigh which comes towards us, cuff, a bit more of a solid dark which is the platform where he's sitting big toe folds here folds here as well the belly, the crotch area. I think I can get rid of those lines because they're a bit confusing, or at least I can add them as a background atmosphere. Some, I think I could go down with that hand. It's just down under the thigh, where the thigh is, so here. here. And 
that little pinky. Now the hand is becoming huge, so I better cut here at some point and decide where to add his right hand fingers a bit of folds here and some shadows here with the brush again those shadows here just dark and then dark and dark and dark Soften those. Soften the, and then leave the belly, leave the light for the belly here. So just make it more rounded. Okay. Background. Cut the belly for the background there. And uh, quite light actually. The whole thing is lighter, so I'll blend that with the background. Curls here. And curls goes right under this, so the curl could extend we come up here right there a bit more a bit more hair here well the hair is beautifully drawn here uh, sorry sculpted curls basically and uh, another curl here which is that one there broke it again Of highlight on the nose. There. Eyes. Cheek. Upper lip. Lower lip. Chin here. Little finger. Right here. And you have light on the on the face, and the fingers are right touching that part of the face. And you have building up of the curls. Shadow here. I'm losing that shadow, which I think is very important. This one. Here. It's the cast shadow of the head onto his shoulder. bit more distance between the elbow from the body and some reflected light here. There. Okay, I guess I can spray it now and get some more darks out of it when I spray it. Well, after the spray. Okay, I'll try and spray it now. Before you spray it, just pull up all the lights wherever you see them. Because otherwise you won't be able to if it's sprayed. And I guess you know why. It's impossible to get the lights out after the spray. Somehow a bit more dark here, and the 
fold comes as it comes around here. Fold, fold, fold. Then his thigh coming around here, then his cuff and the cast, not the um, not the cast shadow, the core shadow here around the thigh and on this cuff. And let's see where that goes. A straight line from the head, from the head right down. So that's where the the heel will be. And you've got the toes, the line of the toes here. I think I could break it down a little bit. That toe is quite high up. Bring it down here, there. Okay. The light under the toes. And front of the platform, which is light, this area here. Vertical line to the folds, that's correct. Feels correct. And you have the folds coming around here. Look at the form, you can see the shadows, just exaggerate a bit the shadows to create that the fold area here, possibly lower than that. There. 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 All right, I'll spray it. Spray it, spray it, spray it. Let's see. Hello again. Well, a bit of a break, change of scenery, having that printed. Okay, good things change. Some things and good things, they all change and they look better. Okay, some dust now to um, actually create on the face, on the body, on the, on the head. Uh, so that charcoal, take the charcoal from here. Do you remember that I said I'll spray it first? I did spray it. And then we have, I can add darks now and they don't move. So the darks will still stay there. Because the spray, is just holds it or keeps the darks. Well, I mean, spray is, it, it's, uh, it's dried now. But what I want to say is that uh, you can add more darks after the spray. That's what I wanted to say, basically. Yes. A bit darker here. Hmm? Dark on this side, dark on here, get dark here and dark on the uh, thigh right there. Now I think I'll get another brush because that brush is not spreading it properly. So it's a bit iffy and not exactly precise. Get another brush here. Oh, spread with precision. Okay, this one is better. So take the charcoal. Again, add it there. One is that that increases its chubbiness. And then there and then the thigh here dark the thigh dark here and there so just use that dark let it let it let it drip creates a nice ambience here it's nice it's good it's beautiful it's 
like he's on a plinth. Hmm? Um, bit of dark. See to push. The, I'm just trying to push the hand backward. There you are. And he's dark. I need to emphasize that. Just under his uh, uh, under his arm. So what I've done, because that's a diff that's a heart. It's charcoal, Faber Castell charcoal. Okay. So what I've done, I just grind it here on the on the uh, sandpaper, and that is a lot darker than the willow charcoal. So hopefully it's not keeping anything. No, it's not. Not really. No, I'm trying to make it darker with that, but it's actually the same as the willow charcoal. Okay, so I'm trying. I was thinking maybe that stick, but it's not. Okay, all right. So what I'll do then, I will darken it with, with a pencil itself. itself. Uh, so the Faber-Castell charcoal. Dark. Dark here, dark. This, the uh, very dark line here for the elbow. Actually, I might not even emphasize that a lot. Just leave it there. Some dark, well, well dark patches here for the um, the drapery <laughs> and calf that negative shape shouldn't be there and I think I've got it quite dark here and the line bring bring the calf forward and emphasize that a bit more than I should have but I think it's for a good cause it just creates more volume there all right, and a little bit of uh, stump, 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 stump. All right, just with the stumps and see if those darks can be spread over. Okay. Bit of the curls here and get that pinky up. Little finger there, and small fingers at the front, and then you have that index finger right there. Okay, and really darkening this, which I should them actually but just to emphasize that the hand is just pushing towards the face a bit of a nose there nose uh, emphasize the chin and the nose all right and uh, with the stump moving the dark around the thigh to create the roundness of the thigh and a little bit of makeup there. And that darkness on this calf here. And toe. Little toe. Oh, sorry. Well, it's little toe because it's a it's a, ch it's a child, obviously. Um, heel and the sole of the of the feet of the foot. Bit of little toes here. All right. I think it's pretty much where I wanted to. Now, to get those darks. Um, a bit lighter around there yeah. and around his 
wings, I'm using pastel. And this type of pastel, not very expensive. Yeah? So the white of this pastel, which is basically it's a combination of a negative space here. One, it's soft pastels. They're not oil, they're soft pastels. Just around there, create that negative shape there. But also it's a bit too bright, isn't it? So I think I should soften it a bit more there. And how about I can use it? I can use that here as well. So I can use that. Bit of light. Just above his chest. Mm, creates volume. Hip. Just around on the hip here. Light up here. Bit of light on the folds here. That will help the folds to create a bit more volume again. Probably soften that area here a bit more. And get rid of the lines here, the lines that I had previously. They were underneath. And a little bit of highlights of the thigh. Again to create volume. Soften it a bit more. Especially where it meets the fold. Uh, toes a bit restricted here. There, that's better. Small sole of the foot. There. The chubbiness of his shin. Here. And the um, well, the fingers basically. And actually, I have a white pencil here. pencil. I guess I lost it. So look, just add that on the little fingers here. And with the mono zero rubber, you can brighten up a little bit by removing the darks with a putty rubber or the mono zero rubber. But it's not working properly, so I'll use the pastel. A little bit of folds here. There. Now I agree, they're becoming a bit too bright, aren't they? Okay. <laughs> now I'll spray it. I will, so I want those brights not to be seen as um, add it later on, but I want it to be seen as part of the of the drawing. So I'll spray it again. Let it dry for a while. And how about now I add those darks? Will it work? Or will it or it won't work so so it should work. <laughs> no. Again adding dust from charcoal for the willow charcoal. So it's a kind of an experiment. Not from the hard charcoal, willow charcoal, darks. It's all right.
whilst I'm letting it dry, I can come around and redraw it, do it be a bit more accurate with the drawing. And doing that will give it time to dry. That's not a wheel of charcoal, this is a uh, pen, charcoal, compressed charcoal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, thumb, index finger, and the pinky one. See. Actually, I'm overdoing it. I don't think I needed to do all this, but it's an experiment. I wanted to see how a pastel would, would work by adding all this after, uh, after drawing darks or the lights with a light of pastel, with a pastel adding it onto charcoal. I don't think it worked perfectly, but possibly if I leave it, as I said, I leave it to dry. I left it, sprayed it now, so hopefully that will, they will blend with the rest of the, the drawing lines. The pastel will be part of that. A little bit of folds here. Just highlight where you feel will you feel the the darks up here. Just highlight them with darks and brighten them with putty rubber if you need to, using putty rubber. And the softness of this. Okay, I think it's pretty much done. It's chubby on me, I must admit, and I can see it is chubby. It needs to be thinner here on the body, but I like it. I like it being chubby like that. Okay then, I will see you on the next one. Sorry about that. Let's go back with some white again. See the impact of that. It feels like a foreign body, like, you know, just adding white onto the area and it looks like add it on but it's got its own beauty instead of using patty rubber using pastel so that will cover it just cover it with the, with that and uh, uh, I'll do something different actually I will add over it and see the impact if I use pastel all around it. There. There. How about that? So brighten it up everywhere. <laughs> okay, it's a different approach. Why not? Experimenting. And that I will keep that dark. I prefer that dark, that area here. Darker than 
what it is at the moment there. All right, I'll see you in the next one then. Move it from. See you on the next one. Bye.